Good afternoon, folks. Hunter here with Johnston Motors, bringing you another fine TJ. Um, I'm actually really, really like this Rubicon. Uh, it's, it's a 2004 Jeep Wrangler TJ Rubicon. So second year of the Rubicon production. Um, yeah, let's talk about this Jeep a little bit. We just got this thing in. We've been working on it for a couple of weeks. There's nothing like major wrong with it, but uh, we just went through the whole vehicle, checked all the fluids, changed anything that was dirty. We did brake work to it, rear main seal, valve cover gasket, um, just really serviced anything that was worn or broke or needed fixing. So um, it drives wonderful now. So you can go down the road, uh, no overheating issues. AC works great, heater works great. Nothing on this vehicle is broke. Everything works as it should. Even though it took us a while to figure out those fog lights, but we finally figured them out. <laughs> so those things are always kind of a bear. But anyway, we finally got the fog lights working. Like I said, we fixed all the leaks on it and uh, it has completely new brakes on it. So the brakes are shot pretty bad. The only thing I will tell you that we did not replace on this car that it probably needs it if you're gonna daily drive it would be tires. These tires have plenty of tread left on them but they are old so i think they're about oh probably eight or nine years old so they have plenty of tread um they're not dry rotted or anything but they're getting up there in age and this spare i would pro i would probably wouldn't use the spare actually but it's kind of cool because it is the factory original spare so this is the spare that came with the car from the factory it's a goodyear wrangler mud terrain uh, I think it's kind of cool that it's still on there. It's probably not very usable, but pretty cool. So let's do a quick walk around, take a look at this. This is obviously a bone stock TJ. So no mods, no lift. Uh, hasn't really ever been off-roaded that I can tell. Um, we bought it from, this is a two owner Jeep. We bought it from the second owner. They were kind enough to contact us and uh, we set up a meeting with them and um, they were pretty good caretakers of the Jeep. So they just kind of used it to drive around um, the Denton area. So it spent pretty much its whole life in Texas. Like I said, they were the second owner. If you look at the car packs, it'll say three owner, but it's wrong. Um, the, the owner that is showing as a second owner is a dealership that they bought it from. So anyways, um, they bought it when it was almost new. They bought it, uh, they were the same owners and caretakers since 2006. So this Jeep was only about a year and a half old whenever they got a hold of it. So anyways, they put most of the miles on it and uh, have had it for, well, since 2006. Uh, it's in great shape. It's never been in any wrecks, obviously. Clean history, clean title, zero rust. Um, it's pretty much everything you're looking for if you're looking for a TJ Rubicon. This one's a hard top. Um, actually, I'll get to that in a second. It's actually a dual top group. So it's got the hard top on it right now. We do have the soft top and all the accessories that go with the soft top actually in the back of the Jeep. Let me show you real quick before I forget. It's even got all the stock bumpers. There you go. Actually, you can probably get a good view of the back seat and stuff too. Everything is real clean. Interior is in great shape. There's no rips, stains, or tears. It smells good. Um, I don't think this top has really ever been off this Jeep. So um, this stuff is kind of laying on top of the carpet, but if you lift up there, the tub is really, really clean. So front looks that way as well. Bumpers are good. There's no scrapes or dings or scratches. I mean, there is zero body damage. Um, there's really like zero scrapes on this car. There's some rock chips and some bug stains and stuff on the front grill, but that's about it. So, dual top group. We got both tops. It's a automatic transmission mated to the, of course, four liter, 4.0 inline six, the AMC 242. Great little engine. Got these side steps here. They're in pretty good shape. This is usually all broke and busted up. Um, there's not even really a whole lot of rock chips right here. You get that a lot on the fenders. These fenders are uh, the original ones and they're surprisingly not faded out. So I do believe this Jeep was garage kept uh, the majority of its life. I don't know about all of its life, but for a lot of its life, there's no clear coat peeling or issues like that on the hood. Everything is great. The original factory fog lights still work. I mean, it runs and drives like a dream so the only thing that i would change on this is i probably put a new set of tires on it if i was going to daily drive it that's it so still got the factory original radio antenna obviously with these rubicons you get the dana 44 axles front and rear locking differentials 
and uh, we've tested all that. That all works. Four by stuff works. You get the Rock Track Transfer Case, which is a and these four to eleven crawl ratio. Very very cool. Um, let me show you the engine real quick and start it up so you can hear it. Probably pretty hot. I'm sure I'm leaving stuff out, so if you guys have any questions on anything I didn't cover or get to or forgot about, contact us, of course, johnstonmotorsales.com. You can call us anytime, 940-808-2382, or you can email me directly, johnstonmotors54 at gmail.com. Ooh, that's hot. That's real hot. <laughs> We've been driving it today, so. I usually always put about 100 to 200 miles on all the Jeeps we put up for sale just to kind of vet them out, get a feel for them uh, and for what they are, make sure there's no major issues gonna pop up on them. Oh, we did a coolant flush on this. It's got a brand new radiator and the old radiator was, uh, had a small pinhole leak in it. So um, coolant's new. Like I said, the brake fluid's new. We, we changed any fluid that was old or looked bad or hadn't been changed in a long time. Obviously the oil, cause we did the rear main seal and stuff. The only thing we didn't change is the transmission fluid. Uh, it looked really good and the previous owner had done it, oh, I want to say a couple years ago. It hadn't hardly had any miles put on it since it was last done. So it's clean. It looks good. It shifts good. So we left it alone. But pretty much everything else we changed out. So yeah, brand new radiator, uh, brand new air filter, all that good stuff. Let me uh, crank it up so you can hear it. go sounds good runs good uh, let's take a look at the interior real quick like I said it's in really good shape really the only wear I see anywhere um, it does have the original factory floor mats this driver's floor mat has got some wear in it right here which is extremely typical um, those are pretty easy to replace if you wanted to steering wheel still in great shape leather wrap steering wheel it's got their factory original radio it all works really good rear inch wiper works so there you go. If you guys are interested in this 2004 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon, let me know. But for those of you that are looking for these, you know what they are. This is what it is. So it's a really, really clean, honest, good driving, rust-free Jeep. Anyways, once again, call us 940-808-2382. Thanks much, and you have a great rest of your day.